Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we continue northward on U.S. Highway 11, concurrent with U.S. 6 West in Lackawanna County, Pennsylvania. We begin at mile 210 as we enter the borough of Dalton, with an estimated population of 1,279 as of 2021. Here, U.S. 11 is called the Lackawanna Trail. The impending rain was temporarily postponed here, but not for long. We enter La Plume Township with a population of 486 as of the 2020 census. The township is home to Keystone College, founded in 1868 and with an enrollment today of around 1,200 students in 40 undergraduate and graduate degree programs. The school originated as Keystone Academy, a high school, and then transformed into a junior college by 1934. In 1998, the Pennsylvania Department of Education officially allowed the school to offer bachelor's degree programs. This was a major milestone for Keystone. Then, in 2014, Keystone took another big step forward when it got the green light to offer master's degrees. However, in May 2024, after more than 10 years of declining enrollment and revenue, the college's accreditor, the Middle States Commission on Higher Education, gave the college a show cause order, meaning the college must demonstrate that it meets accreditation standards by August 1st or it will lose its accreditation. So, as of now, the future of the college is uncertain. It was approaching 5 o'clock p.m. and we still had just over 45 miles to go before we'd reach our destination for the night. The sky was getting increasingly darker with the storm rolling in and I was getting hungry. We did a quick search for fast food and found a steak and shake on the Keystone College campus. We pulled off the road there to get a quick burger. I figured that with the dark skies the video wasn't going to be good anyway and at the very worst we might have to backtrack from our hotel the next morning to refilm this stretch of road. Since this was August 7th, most of the summer classes were wrapped up, and the fall classes wouldn't start until late August. So we walked into the Steak and Shake, which appeared to be the only place with any kind of activity. There were maybe six people in the restaurant, not including the employees. As we waited for our food, every cell phone in the place sounded an emergency alert. Tornado warning. Now, tornadoes are a pretty rare occurrence at home on the Gulf Coast. If we get a tornado warning, all we can really do is stay away from the windows and hope for the best. But I figured that up here things may be handled differently, and I half expected the manager to make everybody get into a basement or a storm shelter. But nobody really reacted at all. So we sat down and ate our burgers, away from the windows, and got out of there as soon as we were done. 
So in the 40 minutes we were stopped, the sky actually lightened up a little bit, but the rain started and we continued through the rest of the day's drive. The Keystone College campus spills over into Factoryville. The borough was named for a woolen mill near the original town site. Factoryville had a population of 1,146 as of the 2020 census. US-11 is locally named Grand Army of the Republic Highway here. We've also moved into Wyoming County, which had a population of 26,069 as of the 2020 census. We enter Clinton Township with an estimated population of 1,319 as of 2021. Here our concurrency with US Highway 6 ends as it heads west and we head north for New York. We entered Nicholson Township, which had a population of 1,259 as of the 2020 census. As we come around this bend, the wooded landscape opens up to reveal the Tunkhannock Creek Viaduct, which carries the Nicholson cutoff segment of the Norfolk Southern Sunbury Line. The bridge measures 2,375 feet long and rises 240 feet above the creek bed. In 1915, when the bridge was completed, it was the largest concrete structure in the world. Today the viaduct is still used for daily freight service. At the Tunkhannock Creek, we entered the borough of Nicholson with a population of 698 as of the 2020 census. 
The borough was incorporated in 1875 and named for John Nicholson, who was Pennsylvania's Comptroller General in the late 18th century. Nicholson gained national attention in the last week of July of 1986 because a Bengal tiger escaped and roamed the area for several days. Despite extensive air and ground searches by state police and zoo officials, the tiger was never found. We conclude today's video at mile 221. Thanks for watching. We've enabled channel memberships, so for as little as $1 a month, you too can help support our channel and get early access to our regular videos as well as the occasional members only video. Click the link in the description to join. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.